my brothers and sisters in the name of Christ i welcome you we are come together as christmas draws near to prepare for our celebration of the birth of god's beloved son through the days of advent we have followed the light of christ and now we travel in spirit with mary and joseph to bethlehem to acclaim the multitude of the heavenly host the coming of the prince of peace through scripture and silence prayer and song let us hear again the wonderful story of our redemption and hearing let us rejoice and respond with lively faith almighty god you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your son jesus christ grant that as we joyfully receive him as our redeemer we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen amen come lord jesus sound sound your instruments of joy sound sound your instruments of joy to triumph shake it string to triumph shake it string let shouts of lesson is taken from the book of Micah chapter 5 reading from verse 2 to 4 but you bethlehem ephrata though you are small among the clans of juda out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over israel whose origins are from of old from ancient times therefore israel will be abandoned 
until the time when she who is in labor bears a son, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Devana Bible Kievima, Yesaya Divasivoreage Poten, Tis Paswana Pariche, Palvene Pade, Sita Dahana Pade Dakwa Gunavatkame Margaya Vanaya the Vilideshe, the Preeti Van Noya Kantare Preeti Matvi, Seuandi, Men Mal Daran Naya Ea Preeti and Gi Handanagan Naya Lebanon Kande Men, E Pigaru Van Naya Kamel, Hasharon, Ketmen, Saravat Van Nayer Samidunge, Teja Lanka Arede, Etumange, Mahabal Mahima Ede, Siallo Dakin Noyer Belahinad Balavat Kurde, Verona Danahis, Shakti Mat Kurana Biasulusi Tatante, Mesekiana Bianovi Dirigana Devidano Oba Muduna Pinisat, Obe Saturangen Paligan Pinisat, Vadina Seker Andeange as Paden Nayer Birange Khan, Aren Nayer Koraya Muvan Men Duopani Noyer Goluaya Preetian Gi Gayan Noyer Kantare and Chaladara Gala and Nayer Marukataren Aladulaval Bidi and Nayer Miringua Jalo Pokunakwe Vili Bim Mulpat Valin Pire Sivalun Lagum Gat Palu Pedeswaller, but Panduru Hapangas Hatagan Nea Shuddavantakame Marge Yananamin Mana Mauta Kehiative Pabitunte e Gaman Kalnakia Anuvana Yande e Mula Nove Sing Hayo a Hinoveti Darno Murgayo, Imangei Hamnoveti 
සමිදුන් විසින් මුදාගනු ලැබූ අය පමණක් එහි ගමන් ගනිති ගැලවීම ලැබූ ඔවුහු ප්‍රීති ඝෝෂා පවත්වමින් සතුටු සිතින් පිනා යමින් සර්සලමට පැමිණෙති දුකින් හා දොම්නසින් මිදි සදහට ම ප්‍රීති වෙමින් ඔවුහු එහි වැසෙති This is the word of the Lord. The third reading is taken from the book of Haggai chapter 2 reading from verses 5 to 9 Vasikum padiyaga therindirukkapatta moondam veda paadam aahai rendam adhigaram aindam vasanam thodarkam ombadam vasanam vare pudhiya kovilin maanbu neengal egypt nindru purappattu vandha podu ungalukku naan alitha vaakurudhiyin padi உங்கள் நடுவில் எனது ஆவி நிலை கொண்டிருக்கின்றது அஞ்சாதீர்கள் ஏனெனில் படைகளின் ஆண்டவர் கூறுவது இதுவே இன்னும் சிறிது காலத்தில் நான் விண்ணுலகையும் மண்ணுலகையும் கடலையும் பாலை நிலத்தையும் நடுக்க முறச் செய்வேன் வேற்றினத்தார் அனைவரையும் நிலை குலையச் செய்வேன் அப்போது வேற்றினத்தார் அனைவரின் விருப்பத்துக்குரியவைகளும் இங்கு வந்து சேரும் இந்த கோவிலை நான் மாட்சியால் நிரப்புவேன் என்கிறார் படைகளின் ஆண்டவர் வள்ளி எனக்குரியது பொண்ணும் எனக்கு உரியது என்கிறார் படைகளின் ஆண்டவர் இந்த கோவிலின் முன்னைய மாட்சியை விட பின்னைய மாட்சி மிகுதியாக இருக்கும் என்கிறார் படைகளின் ஆண்டவர் இந்த இடத்தில் நான் நலம் நல்குவேன் என்கிறார் படைகளின் ஆண்டவர் This is the word of the Lord.
The fourth lesson is taken from Jeremiah chapter 22, reading from verses 13 to 16, and chapter 23, verses 5 to 6. Woe to him who builds his palace by unrighteousness, his upper rooms by injustice, making his own people work for nothing, not paying them for their labor. He says, I will build myself a great palace with spacious upper rooms. So he makes large windows in it, panels it with cedar, and decorates it in red. Does it make you a king to have more and more cedar? Did not your father have food and drink? He did what was right and just, so all went well with him. He defended the cause of the poor and needy, and so all went well. Is that not what it means to know me, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called, the Lord, our righteous Saviour. This is the word of the Lord. The fifth lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 11, reading from verses 1 to 9. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf and the lion and the yearling together. 
and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear. Their young will lie down together. And the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the cobra's den. And the young child will put its hands into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Glory, he 
The seventh lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 to 11. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry for her, that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand, double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers. The flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers. The flower fades. But the word of our God will stand forever. Get up. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with the might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his, in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. This is the word of the Lord. Christmas 
the eighth lesson from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, reading from verse 5 to 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. 
The ninth lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, beginning at the first verse. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver a child. And she gave birth to a firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy, For all the people to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.
the word of life which was from the beginning. We proclaim to you. The darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The word of life which was from the beginning. That which we heard, which we saw with our eyes and touched with our own hands. We proclaim to you. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of life which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. May you, by his incarnation, gathered into one things, earthly and heavenly, fill us with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen.